It's 929, coming up on 930. And it's at this point on Wednesdays that for 10 years now plus, we've presented Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured, answering questions largely submitted by you. And boy, can the law be a confusing thing. If you'd like to submit a question because you've always been curious about something or you have a specific situation, I'll tell you how to go about that here in just a moment. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Ty. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Sweating. <laughs> hot. It looks gorgeous, but man, is it hot. That's, it really is hot. That's the kind of thing I know that you appreciate, though, because you love life in Southwest Florida. You love life on the water. And I know you embrace this kind of weather. I embrace wherever I am. <laughs> Absolutely. Mr. Positivity back with some answers, hopefully, for uh, today's Rather thorny legal situation. I've got the email in front of me. Are you ready to dig into this? Yes, sir. Okay, here's what it says. My girlfriend was severely injured when a driver ran a red light. She was hospitalized for almost a week and will need future surgeries and therapy. The person who was driving the car had only minimum insurance. He was driving a pest control company car. But it turned out the driver didn't work for that company. His roommate had let him drive the car to get some groceries. The pest control company is claiming they are not responsible because they have a policy against any employee allowing anyone other than the company's employees to drive that car. Is my girlfriend out of luck? Her medical bills will be enormous, not to mention lost wages. This is like a second and then third party uh, transfer of uh, responsibility. So what do you make of this? Well, I make of it, um, fortunately, this uh, poor young lady is in luck. Um, And the reason for that is since the um, employee of the pest control company was issued the car and had the ability to use it, under the law, whoever he gives consent to use it to, um, the owner is still responsible. Mm, okay. The, fortunately, the pest control company um, would be responsible for all the damages that this poor person sustained, the enormous medical bills, loss of wages, pain and suffering, inconvenience, all the damages that um, were sustained. Okay. That's a sigh of relief because there is that company policy that says you can't let anybody other than another employee drive a company vehicle. But what I'm guessing, what I'm hearing anyway is that, well, that may be fine for the company and that may get this guy fired even, but it doesn't hold any legal weight. Exactly. That that's a very good summation. Oh, okay. Because, because he had authority to use the car, mm-hmm. the pest control company would be responsible. Okay. Good. And my my guess here again, speculation on my part is uh being a pest control company, they probably have a pretty hefty insurance policy and there probably would be substantial funds to make this person whole again. Uh, I would think so and hope so yeah yeah probably not the first time you've dealt with this where somebody borrowed a vehicle that uh then lent it to somebody else who then gave it to somebody else and kind of gets passed around huh it it sure does and this comes into play under the old rent a car cases (laughs) where somebody rented a car and (laughs) then allowed you know someone else to use it right Um, back Back in the day when the rented car companies were responsible, um, they would be responsible if you loaned it to someone else. I I think if there's a lesson here, it's be careful who you let take the keys. I don't care whether it's your car or the company vehicle or whatever. Be careful who you give the keys to. Well, I agree with that, but the more important lesson is Call an experienced personal injury lawyer you when go. you're in a serious accident. There you go. Yeah, and don't don't waste any time because you got to get on these things quickly. Bruce, thank, exactly. thank you so much again. I'm hoping this is a sigh of relief as it was to me. 
uh, to whoever sent us this email, and we appreciate your time as always. Looking forward to talking to you again next week. Thank you. I do, too. All right. Have a good one. Say hi to the family. Bye-bye. You, too. Take care, Ty. That's Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured on Kicks Country 92.9. Now, if you have a question that you would like to submit for future consideration, you're certainly welcome to do just that. Go to our website and put the keyword Bruce in the search box. That'll take you where you need to go. But if you have a really serious situation, I'd also recommend that you get a hold of the Port Charlotte Office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner and do it, like I said, quickly. Don't wait. Number is 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And tell them the Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.